Good morning. Happy Saturday morning, everyone. My name is Andrea, and I am here to give you a little message this morning, this Saturday morning from Atlanta. I am an intuitive counselor. I do all things metaphysical, all things woo-woo. I teach psychic development, astral travel. I plan retreats. I do all the stuff, teach yoga. If you would like more information on how to get in touch with me or how to be more involved in any organization, based on elegance, empowerment, and entrepreneurship, my information is in the description box, okay? So subscribe to my website. Please click the bell on YouTube. That really, really is supportive to all, all YouTubers. It's free to click the bell to subscribe to the channel. And please share this if it's inspirational to you. So I really wanna talk this morning about reaching goals because I just realized that we are halfway through 2021, and that's amazing. <laughs> We are halfway through the year already. It seems like it was just January, right? So we are all meeting those goals and we're sort of playing catch up on whatever goals fell through the cracks in 2020. So meeting of goals and so is so important because it kind of keeps your vibe high. It keeps wellness happening in your chakras. It keeps wellness happening in your body. So we have like personal goals, business goals, and overall global goals, right? So I think <clears throat> our global goals are like, to be a healer, to help communities, to reach out to businesses, for the economy to thrive. Our personal goals are for like, that would mean like health, love, relationships, friendships, family. Then our business goals, our business goals are fine. And it doesn't have to, you don't have to own your own business. You have just have finance goals. Like it has to do with jobs, money, material things, maybe buying houses, buying buildings, buying businesses, selling things. So we're all sort of speeding up. Time seems to be speeding up for us is what I've noticed in 2021. And that's amazing. We all need to continue to go after those goals. Okay, so here is my prediction, my global prediction. And nothing really horrible is gonna happen to our economy right now. So everyone can move forward with all things. Go out and spend and do what you need to do because nothing really bad is going to happen. It's going to be in 2027, 2028, when things are going to start to get real shaky for us. So if you're saving, you want to save your money for 2027, 2028, maybe 2029 a little bit, but it'll correct by 2029. Um, so, and you want to go ahead and establish your own business and make sure that there's a need in the market for that business. Make sure it's an essential business is my advice to you. Make sure that you, well, you can have more than one business. You can have a regular job and a business. Um, if you have fears about the economy or some insecurity about finances, start your own business and you want to make it an essential business is my advice to you. Now, saying that, I also get the housing market will correct. Right now is the seller's market. So that's fabulous for the sellers. I'm always happy for the sellers. Now, the buyer, it will become a buyer's market, but it might be 2023, 2024. It's going to make, my prediction is that people who want a house will be able to get a house. The regulations, the requirements financial institutions put on individuals who buy homes and loans and mortgages, they're going to be greatly relaxed. Okay. Um, so don't fret right now if you're searching for a house or want to buy your own home because you're going to have, you just ride this out because you're going to have opportunity to the whole, the way we spend money is changing. All, everything's changing right now. And the government, they're trying to do it slower. They're easing into it so we don't like shock. No one wants their system shot because we've all grown up with one with one system. So we're easing into that and that's okay. Just ease into it because basically any progress is good progress. Most change that happens is good. Okay. So my prediction is about 2023, 2024, people are going to, we're going to see like it's going to be a buyer's market and people who want houses are going to be able to buy houses. Now, saying that the automobile market, I'm predicting that the automobile market is going to struggle, okay? And that they're going to struggle starting about 2022, 2023, because we're moving into a society that's paying a monthly subscription for a car service. And if you want to do that, that's great. The millennials already kind of want to do that. You know, I talk to more and more 20 year olds that don't even want cars. And, it, you know, when I grew up, car was freedom. I still love my car. I don't ever want to get rid of my car, but, um, we're merging into these new generations or coming up choosing, you know, just to purchase a car service and you can pay a monthly fee and have unlimited rides where people come pick you up. So the automobile industry is really coming into more of a hospitality service industry. That's okay too. I just want everyone who listens to this YouTube channel to, you know, have a heads up. I'm all about giving people heads up, right? And 
you base your decisions based on that. Personally, me, I'm not getting rid of my car. I love my car. I've got my convertible. I've worked for it. It's my dream car. Um, and it's we're moving into a society where only the wealthy is going to have a car. And if you have a car and you're not in the wealthy class, it's going to be you're going to it's going to be like more of the service industry drivers. OK, so pay your cars off, keep them, take care of them because your cars are going to be worth a lot of money, probably in about a decade, because it's going to be very hard to get cars because they're going to make less of them. And we're already starting to see that. Um, so there's less cars on the dealerships inventory the dealers have less inventory so and that's based on my evidence i found in atlanta and also my intuition okay so we are going in that's kind of our that's my global prediction and i'm in allowance of the prediction and as i said you be an allowance of your predictions to be an allowance of your intuition okay and be open to it and write it down and see what happens because I think you're going to surprise yourself on how intuitive you really are. These readings are not time stamped. When you hear it, you hear it. Okay. And when you hear it, it's, it's fine. Now I'm, I'm getting the prediction. See the camera's wiggling a little bit because I've got a puppy running through my house, which is cool. Puppies transmute energy. So, um, if you have, we're not going to run low on food necessarily because the trucking industry is going to stay strong. The gas industry is going to stay strong. I am encouraged. I always encourage veganism because that does bring a kinder, more compassionate society. Okay. As always, you want to consult your physician for any diet changes and do what's right for your body. As always, your body, your choice. Okay. So we've got more I, i'm also predicting that yoga studios and gyms are going to thrive in the coming years they're just going to thrive because people are going to be turning more into wellness and we're going to be getting more um more subways if cities don't have subways now or rather adequate subways they're going to be revamped to handle the amount of people who will not have vehicles i know atlanta is a very car atlanta is all about their cars right cars banks restaurants that's atlanta and we're going to notice a revamp in public transportation. Okay. And that's good. That's progress. And that really levels out opportunity for everyone. It's an equalization of opportunity. Okay. And that's really what, that's what our society needs because everyone needs equal opportunity. And we're going to see more and more food trucks because people are going to be, they're going to be more public transportation dependent and it's rather difficult. Have you ever had carried groceries on public transportation? That's not the easiest task in the world. There's going to be more and more people choosing not to eat at home, choosing not to cook at home. Housing sizes are going to go down. We're going to see more and more houses split up into individual apartments. Like where it's one house, but it's like tiny apartments. You know, Atlanta, the houses are huge here. Um, so we're going to morph into more of that. It's going to look like more like New York or California. Okay. We're going to be seeing um, rather intense weather changes. And where it's the seasons are going to start to flip, where in the south, where we're used to these hot summers, and it's going to happen with ease. It's going to start to be like cooler and cooler in the spring and summer, and the north is going to get warmer and warmer, warmer and warmer weather. It's like going to flip, and I don't know why that's happening necessarily, other than just evolution. Um, I'm not sure if it has to do with actual climate change. That's science that I have not studied yet. I'm open to it. I just get hits on. I just get intuitive hits on what to say, okay? We're, the new generations, they're going to be more and more psychic. It's going to be more and more acceptable to express your gifts. And it's going to be more and more acceptable to communicate with the crossed over people. Okay, so a crossed over person, this man with a cane is coming to me. He has a cane. He's rather limping. He's a nice guy, but he's a little hunched over. He's definitely worked at a factory or something. It looks like he was killed in a factory. Um... And he is just coming to me, sending his love. Someone needs to hear it. Someone needs to know that he never left their, his family. That's what they're saying. I died, but I came right back to my family. And he's been helping you since the day he died. The goals that you and your families have accomplished would not have been what you could not have done without this spirit guy, like helping you the whole time. And because you just had all kinds of obstacles removed from you. Okay. So just acknowledge that. And that's just a message of confirmation that you're not alone. If you're feeling alone, you're not alone because you have all sorts of non-human help. So that is my message for this morning, this Saturday morning. 
and go out and get some sunshine today if you can at some point lift someone up and give a woman an opportunity today thank you namaste